Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, so thank you very much. Uh, today I'm going to show you the SEMA X20 Pocket Drone. I'm super excited. I love SEMA drones. Uh, I haven't tried this one out yet, but I'm going to do it now, so stay tuned and we will check it out. I've got the SEMA X20 Pocket Drone here and I will put a link in the description for pricing so you can check the pricing as well as the um, uh, specifications if it goes into more detail than I will. So let's open this guy up. Uh, it's a pretty small package. Uh, this thing is made by, it says exclusively imported by Tenergy. Now I've had Tenergy batteries before. I don't know that I've ever seen a Tenergy drone, but um, they do make good batteries, so. By the way, I want to give a shout out to my new camera person, Evan. Thank you for your help today, Evan. And there it is. Look at that. Is that not the coolest looking? It's a little white drone. It's got blade. Uh, it's got prop guards. It's got a little video game controller. Looks like it comes with a set of extra props and a charging cable as well as a um, Little screwdriver. So here's the bag of accessories, charging cable, screwdriver, and uh, extra props. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up the back here for the remote. Okay, and there it is, the X20 Pocket Drone. It's uh, a little bit heavier than it looks. It must have a good size battery in it. Um, it has four prop guards. It has a little on off button on the top. Oh, there we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, charge this guy up and take it for a flight. So I came to realize after a little bit more investigation that this is not actually a camera in the front, it's just a light. So this is not a camera uh, drone. It is a, uh, a line of sight flyer. It doesn't have an app or anything like that. And honestly, I'm pretty excited about that because usually these apps are not super great um, and there's too many too many things associated with them they try to do too much I like the fact that this is just a little line of sight flyer so I've got four AAA batteries right here with the remote so I'm gonna go ahead and put these four AAA batteries into the remote okay it's so got my four batteries in there go ahead and put the uh, this piece on and screw it back in there we go all right now let's try turning on the remote with this switch. Oh, that worked. We'll turn on the quad with this button. And then we're gonna wait for just a moment until the light slows down. It's blinking fast right now. And then you go up and then down and then it stops blinking and you're ready to go. Now I will say these joysticks are very, very um, flat. They're kind of like flush against the remote, which is unusual. So I'm, I haven't flown it yet, so I'm gonna see how that feels but um, it is a little bit different. So now that it's bound, I push the throttle up and down. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. And there it is. I will say these joysticks are a bit unusual. They're kind of, um, they're almost like little uh, buttons that you push from side to side. But so far it's super stable. It's pretty sporty when you push it up and down. And the yaw is pretty quick. Look, it's got the cool red light in the front and the green in the back. Now it does have a couple of uh, modes you can go into. It has a uh, flip, it has headless and different rates. So I think this upper left button is the rate mode. So I just, you heard the two beeps? There's one beep that's uh, rate one. Two beeps is rate two. Rate two is gonna be more responsive. It's gonna basically fly around a little bit, you know, more quickly when rate two. Whereas in rate one, it's, it's gonna be a little less responsive, a little more beginner, but not great in the wind. But it's not real windy right now. It's raining a little bit, but it's not real windy. So let's take it out over, over here. So you can see, 
see it's pretty quick. Here goes the flip. Whoa! Did you see that flip? Super crisp flip. Did not drop at all in altitude. Try it again. Man, this thing is honestly a joy to fly. Yeah, get a shot with me flying it. It's like your pet. Alright, ready for a flip? Yeah. Flat right over your head. Ready? Yeah, should I film it? Like. Oh. Yeah, do it against the green. Do one more right there. That was good. That was a good one. All right, you do it right in front of my face. Ready? It literally hit the camera. <laughs> it's like small and light. Do you put like music? Behind this? What's that face? Daddy, don't do that. Let me see that off one face. <laughs> yeah, this little joystick is like super responsive. Um, do you do music though? It's easy to fly. Yeah, I'll do music. Alright, this out. Alright, I'm gonna fly it away from you. <laughs> you did not mean to do that. Oh yeah, totally. Not. Now it flips whichever direction you push the stick. So if I push the stick forward, it flips forward. If What's the, the point right, of flipping it? It's fun. So the SEMA X20 Pocket Drone uh, is fun to fly. It is a very simple, basic drone. It does not have an app. It does not have a camera but it does have uh, really good flight characteristics. It has two rates. It has a, it does have a headless mode. So if you're a beginner and you wanna learn how to fly headless mode, you can do that. I do recommend actually learning to fly without the headless mode because you're gonna actually, um, you're gonna learn better, how to fly better without it. It's got great LEDs. And again, it has these really um, unusual buttons on the joystick. They are recessed. And at first I thought they were going to be a problem and make it harder to fly, but they're not at all. It's, it's like pushing little sliders around, but it's super responsive. So I didn't have a full battery charge just now when I flew it, so I only got about three minutes worth of flight, but that was just with the um, battery straight out of the box without charging it. I will charge it and try it again, but I'm going to guess seven, eight minutes of flight time. Uh, it feels like it has a pretty good sized battery in it. The thing is very solid feeling and well built. If you want to learn how to fly a line of sight 
drone, which I always recommend for beginners to start out line of sight with a tiny little drone that's inexpensive and pretty responsive. Um, I really like the SEMA X20. I'm a big fan of the SEMA X5C, as everybody knows, but this thing is a smaller version of that. It's great to fly around indoors or out. Does okay in a little bit of breeze as we were flying it today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe so you can see more videos about drones. We'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone, and thanks for watching.